The big story this weekend is going to be the wind. So hunker down. We are expecting the winds to start increasing tomorrow afternoon. The National Weather Service has issued high wind watches that go into effect tomorrow at 5 o'clock in the evening because of this. The area is in that orangish brownish color. 40 to 50 mile per hour winds will be possible in these areas with up to 80 mile per hour gusts possible through tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is when we're going to be tracking the strongest winds. So as you're sleeping Saturday night into Sunday morning, you may hear those windows begin to rattle with that wind in place. We're going to keep the wind around through Sunday also. Temperature wise tomorrow, it's going to be very similar to today. Tonight we're dropping into the 30s and 40s, so not a bad night. Tomorrow afternoon, 60s and 70s. While that sounds nice, with the wind increasing through tomorrow afternoon, it may not be the nicest afternoon to spend a lot of time outside. If you're suffering from any kind of allergy right now, tomorrow is going to be a tough day for you. 30s and 40s up across the high country. The wind continually increasing through the day tomorrow. But the good news is tomorrow we will have the clouds in place, which means we should have another round of those beautiful sunrises and sunsets like we saw yesterday and again today. Taking you into your Sunday, we're going to increase the clouds through the afternoon. Colder air is going to move in Sunday afternoon. And as that coldest air rushes in, especially along the Palmer Divide, we could see a few very light rain and snow showers developing late in the day. So we'll have to monitor that. I don't anticipate we'll see any accumulations that will impact travel, but we'll be tracking that closely through the weekend. 49 degrees and windy on Sunday, and then colder and breezy on Monday. 34 degrees is all we're going to get to to start you off on the work week, so not the best start to the week. But you'll notice that temperatures will warm up. We'll be in the 50s and 40s as we take you through the rest of the work week, which means we should start to feel a bit like November as we head into the middle of next week. Pueblo, 70 degrees tomorrow, and then we fall to 58 degrees on Sunday. As that colder air moves in, you'll feel it beginning Sunday night. Temperatures dropping into the teens. A frigid start to your Monday morning. Monday afternoon only getting to 32 degrees. 54 then Tuesday before we bounce back into the 40s. Wednesday, Thursday, warming into the 50s by next Friday. But again, more seasonal weather as we head into next week. Canyon City, 66 degrees tomorrow. 58 and very windy on Sunday. We'll keep the wind in place on Monday, then the winds begin to calm down. Temperatures in the 50s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and again on Friday. Teller County, 54 degrees tomorrow, 46 on Sunday, 30s on Monday. Tuesday, 48 degrees, and we will have a slight chance of getting a bit of snow through the middle of the work week next week in Teller County. The bulk of the, sto of the snow associated with that storm really going to fall across the high country. So if you're heading up to the mountains this weekend to do a little skiing, snowboarding, great. Conditions should be fantastic. But the following weekend, I think with that fresh snow, could even be a little bit better. So Ooh. tuck that little nugget in the back of your mind. Okay, right. start planning now. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Rachel. The Festival of Lights kicks off.